Hello guys and welcome to Aurora Vorex. So we're just trying to work out how the hell to actually get this fighter to work properly. Well, not work properly as in... Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. We have the power plant on, we have the laser on, we have the beam FC. What the hell's the problem? There's no problem. It's... It's good. Oh, right, yes, yeah, when we add the engineering space, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, screw the engineering space for now, then. I guess we'll have to make do. I mean, um... Try... Move. Try... 50. About uh, 15 days, something like that is kind of what it works out to. That brings us to a nice solid total. I kind of want them to be fairly... Well, do I want them to be long range? I kind of would like them to have a good amount of um, range, really, just because then they'd be able to be fairly independent. I don't have a sense that's small enough. So is range really needed? Hmm. Probably not really so. I don't know, we'll go for about 0.7. We could add a bit. No, okay. What the hell's the problem here? Twenty-three crew. I could bring it down to four crew. For a day. Two days brings it to twelve. Okay. Also it's fair to see speed and everything. So we'll keep it at 0.1 then. I mean, we're not going to have a battle that lasts more than a day, well, more than an hour, you know what I mean? It's, it's never going to really last that long. And if it does, we can just bring these things back into the carrier ships and they'll be fine. Okay, so I guess we'll just add fuel on here then. Nah, I didn't. Why, why does armor take that much? Surely. Is it really that heavy? Oh, this is ceramic composite. Seriously, god damn it. Okay. How about we just add fuel on? Yeah, you like fuel, don't you, bitch? I wanted it to be a round number. It's going to really bother me. That's, that's really irritating. Like, come on. Okay, we'll remove all of these. And then I might try something a little bit larger. So if we went for a small fuel tank... Uh... Motherfucker. Okay, that might just have to do. So we have the Mason Cannon uh, fighter variant. We have the beam. So it had 60,000 range. Tracking speed is 31, 250. Yeah. It has double the amount of power it needs, so it should be able to uh, be fine. I think this is our M41 design. I think it's okay. It's not that fast, it's only 12,575, but I can't really do too much right now, so I guess this will have to do. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be able to fit on, like, power plants and stuff like that if I made the engine a little bit bigger. I mean, I probably could have worked it out. I think what I'll have to do is, like, kind of use some paper and just write it all down and then just work it out. I mean, more than 50% goes in towards the engine. And then you can see here that laser, that Mason kind of takes up a 30% of that, so that's, uh, that's a big old thing there. It's a big old thing. So we'll take a look at our carrier design then. And we'll uh, sort this baby out then. Alright. Yonder ECV. Um, do I want to have a sensor on? If I remove the sensor, I gain 500... Um, Tons. We already have some lasers here. So what we could probably do then is either have a secondary fire control system for a backup, but do I particularly need that? Nah, not really. How heavy are these? Um, but then I could I, I could just add it to. Well, I could add it to the armor, or, or, I could actually mount more fuel onto this baby. Or even passive sensors could be quite interesting. Hmm. 
Um, we do have 56 spare flight crew though, so that's more than I need, but I'd l rather have the excess. Hmm. Right, so we do have the flag bridge here, yes we do. I do have a damage control. Um... Hmm. What to do, what to do. I'm kind of thinking about some, um, passive sensors, perhaps? Compact ECM. I wonder if I could actually put that on the... It's 50 tons, though, so that's not quite doable. It's rather heavy. Uh, ECM2, ECM2. Uh, I, I guess I'll just put some extra fuel on. I'll put some extra armor on, I think, and then probably some more fuel. And then at least uh, we should get some more range out of these things. So put on a large tank. Oh, well, we're going to have to go for a standard tank. There we go. So that brings us up to uh, 1.650 million liters. 6,000 speed. Good. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to wait until we have our new engines and then I'll design it with the new engines. And then at least we can get them off the bat without having to retrofit them. And they're, they're not far away. Not far away at all. Right. New officers. Arrest uh, on Lucal. Lucal, I'll have to deal with it. Right. So, Lubrical Prime. What do we have to do to make you a lady? Because, I mean, you don't have that much compared to the other ones, but you do have some minerals, and that's that's what counts. So, the temperature is a problem. I mean, the atmosphere is breathable. It's just bringing the temperature up, then. Safe greenhouse gas. I mean, it's still got the greenhouse gases, so whether that's going to take that long or what, but... It needs to come up. It absolutely needs to come up. So we'll have to find a way to warm the planet. Good job. Lupicle. It has some interesting elements into it. I mean, there's uh, a hell of a lot of moons. And it's been a long time since I really took a close look at the Lupicle system. So there's probably a lot of stuff here that I've not really looked at. It's just the fact that Lupical Prime wasn't as easy to uh, terraform as the other ones. Which is a travesty, mostly because I've ignored my first colony. But, oh well. I might rename it, you know. I mean, we have New Carthage in the Phoenician system, so I might call it uh, Rome. Roma. Hmm. I could call it the Italia system. Uh. Hmm. Trying to think of something that we could possibly call it. That'd be that'd be interesting to go for a Roman theme. Right, the Antwerp is running out of fuel. Ah, oh, well, you're in the system, so that's good. What do you have on board? You have some construction factories, okay. Uh. I'll remove that. Remove that. Okay. And then I'll have you refuel at New Carthage. Then you can go refuel that. Good. At least then you're taking those construction factories where they're needed. Right, Macedonia's completed a uh, overhaul. Enforcer's completed overhaul. Good. Oh, Colin May, you're doing my head in. <laughs> Ugh. Right here. All right, so we're looking at the first of May. Not far away. Just keep on going. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. I'll be interested to see what sort of speeds we'll get with these new engines. 
I imagine maybe 8,000? Uh, I'd love it if we could get 9,000. 10,000 would be beautiful. But I don't know. But if we could get 10,000. If we could get 10,000 corpses per second, that'd be amazing. I mean, we saw the increase in power that we got with the missile engines. I mean, that's obviously a larger increase in power as opposed to the full-size engines, but, um, ah well, we'll see what happens. Right. Oh, mother of God. These things are doing my head in. Ugh. I'm really gonna have to send them back for... Overhaul. Proxima? Oh, Proxima. You can just go back to um, New Carthage and chill at New Carthage. It might be a colonial backwater for the time being, but it's, uh, it's a crown jewel in the Empire right now. You can imagine it'd be such a unique experience for a relatively like tiny amount of people on such a large planet. I mean, we have to remember that uh, New Carthage is much larger than uh, 30,000 in diameter. If you compare that to Sol. And, um, we see the Earth is only 12,756, so it's more than twice the size of Earth, so you can imagine the vastness. Absolutely vast. Well, while we're here on this, let's take a look at the duplicate system, then. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, that, that, that was a problem. There really wasn't much in the way of minerals here. There's some worlds like this which are pretty cool, but none that were like, wow. Yeah. Really kind of lacking. Lum and Sistine. Oh. Interesting. Oh, right, yes, Lumen System was a complete letdown. Ross 128 is probably the one I'm thinking of. So let's take a look at the uh, Ross 128 system. Right, minerals. Mm, then again. Decent amount of titanium, though. And the temperature's not bad. What we'd have to do here is raise the temperature slightly. Add a little bit of oxygen and boom, habitable world right there. Titanium, Micassium, Saurium. Decent, well, not really, really small amounts. Sol. Trace. Hmm. Luna. Jupiter has a... Hey, is this Jupiter or is this Europa? No, that's Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter has a good amount. Europa has a good amount of materials, actually. Not that much, but a good amount. Geranium, Geranium. Hmm. Okay, Struve 239A. Oh my god, yeah, I completely forgot. That's so nice. Gallocyte, good amount of Gallocyte. Red to right, that's nice. Good amount there. Okay. We need to explore more systems. That's for damn sure. Hmm. Who's ready to go? Right. You guys. Are you overhauling? You are already. Hmm. I just turn actives off for now. We'll keep them overhauling. I think 
yeah, there's only 800 left, so I think we'll wait until we get this new engine tech, and then we're gonna... Uh, we'll start prefabricating them, and then... Uh, well, the engines, I should say, and then we'll see how long the refit times are. Hmm. I'm just most interested to see what the speed's going to be. Because that's... It. Well, I mean, we saw how... How much we were just outclassed with their speed. Of their scout ship. I mean, if that's their scout ship and their warships are still the same as before, then... If we can get that extra speed, then that will be much better. I mean, you can imagine if we're doing 9,000 or 10,000 speed and their warships are only doing 5,000. We'd be able to absolutely devastate them. Absolutely. Just completely... Sorium shortage on uh, New Carthage. It's alright, mate. It's alright. Antioch. You hungry, hungry horse. We can't really give you that much. Uh, the Hamilton's come in. I oh, know the Hamilton's... Hamil Hamilton's, Hamilton's leaving. What have you been bringing here, then? Load mines. Okay. Yeah, so we are bringing mines over here, then. How much do we have now? It's looking better. Yep, 22. Uh, so we've actually completed some mines over here, so you can see they build pretty quickly. Build really nicely. Should have enough to build another two, actually. Uh, so it's Corundium that we need to work on. How much would it cost us for a mass driver? Holy shit, mass drivers are cheap as fuck. <laughs> wow, they are cheap. Bloody hell, I didn't think they'd be so cheap, but goddamn, they are cheap as shit. Right, so we'll get... Well, that's such a great description, isn't it? Cheap as shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, the Sorium Sortage... Yeah, because we're using too much. Uh, so we'll stop this for now. And then, obviously, we're never going to be able to refill the Hamilton completely, so... That's kind of pointless. Uh, so we'll wait for that Sorium stop part to build back up, and then we'll be good. Ah, damn it, we just completed the engine. Damn it! I missed time there. I've missed a month of research, and that's a really bloody problem. Considering the fact that the um, NPR, the real AI race, I mean, that race that we found in the Proxima Centauri system is what's known as an NP, an NPR, uh, a non non playable race. Basically, it's what was uh, generated by our discovery of the system. There was like a 30% chance that we'd. Uh, have an alien race there, and boom, we got unlucky. So the real alien empire is out there, and they start in the Transnewtonian Age, whilst we did not. So you can imagine how far we are behind. It's crazy. Okay. Just need to build up this stockpile. It should build up fairly quickly again. Yeah. <sighs> So we've got a good start pile of this over here, Tritanium. We just need some Corbomite. Corbomite, Corundium, and then at least we have those stop piles built up over here. Lovely. I just like that we're getting all these um, installations over here. It's really good for us. I mean, we're already almost surpassing Nubical Prime. Right then. So let's take a look at that design then with the engine. Yonder, Yonder Matu, Matu. It's a rename. Uh, Yonder MK2. Right. So we compare here six thousand. Let's remove these. Um. Ah, that's not bad, 7,500. That's not bad. It's not quite as fast as I was hoping for, but that's, uh, that's not bad at all. I was really kind of hoping for 10,000 kilometers per second, but uh, that's not bad at all. I mean, it's a really, really efficient engine. That will do nicely. 
You can see how long that design would take to build. So we'll save that then. So, well, we'll just have to leave that as it is. Alright, we'll do the rest of them. So Yonder Missile Cruiser Mark 2. And... Copy, design. Rename. Copy, copy. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, that's the one that was built. So I'll delete this copy. Just keep it nice and tidy. Delete this copy as well. Actually, no, I can rename this one. What am I on about? Looks like light cruiser MK2. Damn it. MK2. Right, so we get rid of these engines. It shouldn't take a long time. But 7,500, I'm very happy with that. Rename. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Everything good? Yep. Well, 7,500 uh, kilometers per second. Much faster than we were going before. So it's it's a nice big increase. It's almost like a full... Um, yeah, is it like what, a 15% increase? Something like that. Almost 20% increase in speed. Well, oh, well, a bit more than that. Maybe a 20% increase in speed. Almost 25% increase in speed. Something, yeah, it's in that region. I'm pretty shit at maths, especially when I'm recording, so don't take me literally. <laughs> right, so we'll uh, get this guy off to a good start. Lovely. Right. So, the command, well, the escort carrier should be done then. I mean, six armor. It's got a quad, um,. 15 centimeters laser, the ultraviolet laser. Hmm. I could mount uh, some CIWS, but meh. It's got ECCM, it's got ECM as well. It's got the hunger deck, so we should be good. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. It's got a fairly meh maintenance life, but I mean, as long as we keep it around our planets, it should be fine. So I think we'll uh, start building that then. Well, at least we'll look at our shipyards actually first. So let's take a look then, especially this one. All right, refit. So refit to yonder command. Uh. Oh, refit from, okay. What? Oh, there's no class assigned, okay, that makes sense. Yonder command. What? Okay. I might remove the original design. We'll rename this one. We'll just rename it um, 101 for now. Then see what happens. Right, refit from 101. Why can't we refit from that? It's the same weight.
Like, what, what, what caused this problem? 